So a histogram is one of the simplest graphs that we use in statistics, but they're very useful and very informative. So it's just a type of graph used to display a distribution. So you might think, why start with histograms? There are lots of fancier graphics that we can start with. Um, but a histogram is nice because it helps us to overcome our sort of natural tendency to rely on summary statistics. And this is just a natural thing. As an analogy, think of just stereotyping. It's very easy to stereotype individuals who are part of a group because you can rely on your sort of summary statistics of that group to make an inference about an individual. But as we know, we shouldn't do that if we want to get to know individuals within a group. We want to look at the entire distribution. We want to look at everybody within the group uh, before we calculate those summary statistics or jump to those conclusions, those summary uh, conclusions about a group. So here's a quick example of a nice normal distribution plotted in a histogram. So we're going to look at a lot of histograms in this segment and throughout the course. Uh, they'll always take on the same form. So on the x-axis, I'm plotting whatever variable it is that I'm looking at. In this case, it's, the example is body temperature uh, present, measured in degrees Fahrenheit. And on the uh, y-axis, all I have is frequency. It's just the number of people in this distribution, in this sample, that have this particular body temperature. So in a second, I'll do this in Celsius because I know we have an international audience. But in, in Fahrenheit, normal body temperature is about 98.6 degrees. That's what most people go with. Um, so if you look, we're 98.6 degrees is right about here. So yeah, it's right about the average. Uh, this, this group runs a little hot, you might say. Um, so that's a nice normal distribution. A characteristic of a normal distribution is if I wanted to sort of smooth this, I could draw a curve over it. It has this nice bell-shaped curve to it. And the way to spot a normal distribution is to look for that signature bell-shaped curve and it's symmetrical around the mean, or around the average. So you can see there's just a, the, the number of cases beyond the mean is about equal to the number of cases below the mean. So it's symmetrical and has this nice normal bell-shaped curve. Here's the same exact data, just plotted uh, in terms of Celsius. So now on the x-axis, you see we're just plotting temperature measured in degrees Celsius. Again, it's a normal distribution. We did these graphics in R, and you, you've seen R a little bit, um, and R just bins these differently. So you can see the width of these bins uh, are, are different. And again, you can set that, if you remember using the R function hist, and the argument breaks, you can change that if you like. Uh, but this is just the same exact uh, uh, data plotted in, in Celsius in, instead of in Fahrenheit. 